Hey guys, it's Thursday. Well, we're gonna try to get ready for the track tonight. The other night on the way home from the track, I noticed this thing was smoking a little bit. It had some oil pumping on the exhaust side because Jason had uh, crimped the hose the other day when he was driving it. He uh, All he had was just a garden hose to put on it. So he put it on it way. It done a bad, gnarly little crimp in it. So it's leaking out the exhaust seal. So I figured it'd be a good time to do a first time turbo rebuild. I've took them apart before, but I ain't never rebuilt one. So we're gonna try and see if I can't document this and get y'all some footage of it. The parts should be here. Well, my, my mailman needs runs from two to three. So it gives me two hours to get it ready and get it to the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it tore down this morning. I'll be back with you shortly. It's a decently clean area, even though it don't look like it, but it's clean enough. So you wanna come in here and they say, make a mark from the blade to your nut to your shaft right here on the end that's visible that way these threads are left-handed thread but you want to keep all this stuff in line that exhaust turbine wheel right here has a shaft that comes through and connects to here so all this has been balanced that's why these little marks are on here if you look at the if you look at the exhaust side usually they grind them they don't even look like it's ever been balanced honestly not from what i've ever seen I mean, it might be that wheel right there. Yeah, it might be that. It might be what that little piece right there is where they balance the wheel. But all this balance is through, so you want to keep all this in line. So when I take it apart, this is left-handed thread. So I'm going to turn it lefty, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Ain't going to be lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. It's going to be righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. So it's going to be through here stepping out on our toes. Let's see if we can get it. But yeah, we're going to go through and take this nut off, and we're going to pull this wheel off. Real quick. I got the bolt off of it. Like I said. <clears throat> Righty loosey, lefty tighty. That's backwards threaded. So now we're going to just go through and, and twist this and work out. I'll show you something else. The nice part about this is, is this line here on the back, I was able to go through and use a, <clears throat> use a 15 16 socket to hold that to break that loose. And now I'm able to spin all this off. So let me get it all tore apart right quick. I'll be right back with you. Nothing big, nothing big, nothing major. So now I got some clips in here. I gotta take these little snap rings, pull it off to pull it apart. No, I went ahead and pulled it out, but there's a little bit of scarring right here, but nothing bad. I'm gonna clean it up with some Scotch Bright. It had gotten hot without. Basically, what happened was he crimped the oil line off down here, and when he had crimped the oil line off, then it wasn't allowing the turbo to get good oil to it. So it backs up and it starts cooking the oil right here on the shaft because they can't keep the oil cool when he was driving it. So I'm going there's a snap ring in there too. I need to pull out real quick. Now let's work on getting them snap rings out and getting them, them bushings out real quick. I hope it comes with new clips, because if not, one just took a ride and I'm gonna have to find one. Or whatever, it ain't nothing but some little snap rings. So I just pulled this one out, now I'm gonna flip it over and pull the other one out. And then I'm gonna brake clean everything up and I'm gonna wait on the parts so you hear this afternoon. I'm gonna clip out of it right here. I'm gonna show y'all the way I got this out was there's a lip right here. It falls down in this hole and there's an O ring there on it. So what I did was I took a screwdriver on both sides and I pried evenly to get this little piston out. Well, I don't know if it's got a piston. It's probably like a thrust washer or something. But it has an O-ring on it, so we're gonna call it a piston. So we're gonna set this to the side now, too. Now I gotta just go through and pull the rest of this stuff up out of here. Break clean it all up. There, like that. No, that ain't, there's gonna be the thrust washer and all that right there. I try laying it back in order, kind of how it came out. So I gotta go through and get all the rest of this up out of there. It just all picks right on up. Like that. And this is the back side of it. So I'm gonna lay it in order like this. Make sure I put that back underneath so I know this i gotta pull that one snap ring out and pull that one bushing out right there and then just break clear thing we're ready to rock and roll go back together with it. pretty simple very very simple. Right, all of it took apart and i'm gonna go ahead and start break cleaning everything up we'll be ready for right, guys we'll be back here in the garage i'm feeling it today it's sunday so i figured i'd go ahead and get this turbo kit it's the earth turbo kit <laughs> i get this turbo charger rebuilt today so i got my oil right here in a little bucket i got my brake cleaner here's the kit that come from vs racing I'm gonna start putting this stuff, putting it back in there. So I'm gonna start. I've done brake clean the housing. I'm gonna put the bush in here, 
I'm gonna drop it in and I'm gonna put one of the uh, the clips back in it to hold it in. I'm gonna oil it up real good before I do it. I'm right actually using in. a gear oil that I had over here, 8090. If I want to use something thick in there to make it to give it some lubricant. So you get it up in there real good like that, and then you take you a bunch of oil and you still put it around. Next, I'm gonna go through and put my clips in it. So I'm gonna clip it. Snap ring, yeah, I done verified that I had it all the way down. Spin it around and stuff to ver verify that, you know, you got it locked all the way in. So now we're gonna flip over and go to the other side and do the same. Well, I got that locked in. I went ahead and I, after I put it in, I brake cleaned everything cause I wanted to make sure I got it all, there. I didn't get no dirt in there from my screwdriver done cause I don't have the cleanest tools ever. I do work here a lot, so. I took and uh, brake cleaned it all out real good, and now I've gone back through again, and I'm topping it off with some oil, just something in there that'll that'll keep it alive. We'll keep some lubrication until we get some oil pressure to it. So let me go on, and uh, now we got both sides in, both clips are in. Now we got to get back over here and start working on this. We got to go through and uh, put our thrust washer here. I'm gonna lubricate it real good and we gotta drop our thrust washer in. It goes this way. So I put right it in, I have this piece right here. You can actually see it's the way I got it stacked up. You can see a little bit of wear marks on that. So it goes this comes up like that, and then the thrust plate goes on. But I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate everything and I'll be right now. Now that I've done put that in there and I've done lubricated this all up real real well on both sides. Now I have this little washer right here. I'm gonna take it in here. I'm gonna flip it back and forth a few times. Give me a bunch of oil. I say you can't have too much oil on this thing. So there we go, like that. So now we move on to that, to the other little cover. I'll be right back. Now you got this little deflector. So I guess that, all the things figure it is, it's like a little oil deflector. It goes down with the notch facing inwards. So I gotta get this little piston now, or this little piece right here. I gotta go through and pop the seal I'll on. Show y'all, y'all got this little piece right here. It has a it has a little piston ring on it. It goes inside of here. So I'm gonna lubricate it. I'm gonna be real careful to push in because I don't want to break that ring when I put it in. Put in there, and I put. I, well, I did. I took a, a screwdriver and I pushed in on that seal. That's the sealing ring. I sealed it, and then I lubricated. And I spun it a few good times. I said, because that's what seals it off. That's what keeps the turbo from getting, when they say uh, oil seal's gone bad on it, it ain't actually a seal. It's just a little ring like this right here. It's just like a little piston ring that seals off. There's two on the exhaust and there's one right here on the intake or on the, the cool side. So now I got this together. I'm gonna lube this O-ring up real good. I'm gonna push this together right here. I'm gonna put the big clip back in it. And that, that'll complete this side of it. And then all I gotta do is put the snap rings on this. Snap rings. I gotta put the compression rings on this, the little cylinder rings, and I can push it through. I'll be Show right back. Yeah, this is snap ring. It's that bevel right there. Flat on one side, bevel on the other. Bevel side goes. We got the bevel, we got the snap ring in it, the bevel side up. Now we gotta move over here. I gotta put the cylinder rings on this piston, the very last two holes. Let me pull this off right here. The very last two, well, right there, they pop on last one. And they say these have to be 180 apart from each other. So if they want it, it'll smoke. So we gotta put one on one side, one on the other where the little hole is right there for the ring. So let me get this real quick. Got my cylinder on, see my holes. I got them exactly 180 out. I took a wire brush and I cleaned that up to make sure there was no carbon built up on it. So now I gotta push this in from the back side. But when I push it in, they say do not rotate it because you can't add them rings spin because they could get on top of each other so you have to go through and push it straight in so be easy with it and get it to lock in it'll take a little bit to move it around but that'll get us to where we Put need to be cover over. just make sure to set it down here like this and just make sure you got it somewhat centered all the way around it'll help you out a little so bit. i got to push together i still got my mark right here on it so i'm gonna take my turbo wheel. i got brake clean it off real good and then i gotta slide it down on it and then put clean the back side of it off like that I'm not gonna do the front because I had that the uh, the mark on it. But then I come in here and take you a little bit of oil, oil all that up right there. That surface, throw a little bit around right here. 
Just something so that way when it first starts up, it won't it won't rub nothing. So let me go ahead and slide it down on there. And then once I tighten everything, then I'll go back there and I'll break clean and get all the rest of the dirt the off. Like I said, I'm actually going to use my old nut because I've already got the mark on it. So I'm going to put it that way it gets it right back to torque to where I need it to be at for my line. So I'm going to spin it on, spin it on down. Lefty loosey. Righty tighty. It's more like righty tighty. Lefty loosey. Backwards thread. So let me go and get this real quick. Okay. I got a line back up. It was a little pain in the butt to get that back piece in. Now I'm gonna break clean it all up and get it all looking good to go back on the truck. So please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you one later. Thank you.